chickadees. Today I want to show you how I curl my hair. Now I have relatively fine hair but I have a nice amount of it and it has a slight natural wave especially when it's a bit shorter. I usually sleep with it in a plait so when I take it out of the plait it's a bit wavy but it is naturally just a bit wavy. So I'll take it out of my plait because I've got out of bed about an hour ago. Sorry if I look down here it's where the mirror is. There we go. That's my hair as it naturally is. Uh, blue ends because this is from years and years and years and years of dyeing it. Black especially, blue, purple and bleached. The ends are bleached which is why they're so damaged and then this bit I think probably slightly bleached, probably a bleached bath here and there but it's more just stained from using vegetable dyes and things like that and then I've got my natural hair colour on top. Today I want to show you the way I curl my hair and I always use um, wet set curlers or just a wet set curl because my hair does not keep a curl at all not even with heat. I don't use heat on my hair, I don't have straighteners anymore and I don't have curlers because it, it just doesn't stay in my hair which is really annoying. So I always use water and time basically. Usually I would have a shower, put my hair up in a towel, wait for about half an hour, maybe an hour take it out and then it's still relatively damp and then I'd curl it. Today I washed my hair a couple of days ago so it's dry but that's okay because I've just got a little spray bottle of water. All I do is I start from my ear and I just go all the way around and then this section gets split into two, top and bottom and then and then I just curl it. So I'm going to do that and then I will come back to you and show you how I actually curl it and pin it in place. So I've done the bottom of my hair and I'll give you a quick twirl. So that's them there. And I've sectioned off the next part of my hair. So this one is split down the middle because the very bottom layer I did two, the top, the one above that I did three, and then this one will be an equal number so I can have a split down the middle. So if I just shimmy over to the this side of the stool. Uh, sorry if I'm looking in the mirror. So I think this can probably be three. Hmm, or just two. Okay, I think it's going to be three. So I'll split it into three now. I leave that one behind my shoulder. That one in front of my shoulder, and we're going to be working on this bit. So, just wet the strand of hair and give it a brush shouldn't technically brush your hair when it's wet but I couldn't find a comb and this was the only thing to hand and there's only a small section of hair anyway so we're going to get our rag here and starting it pull it out like that starting at the bottom we're just going to start wrapping it around our hair doesn't want to stay in. Ugh. 
give it a tug to tighten it. There we go. Now all this hair that's fallen down because it's a bit shorter, we just remember to incorporate when we're rolling it up. Keep smoothing it down. And then if you find you're getting a bit too lumpy in the middle, just kind of get your fingernails in there if you have fingernails and uh, kind of pull it out a bit so it lays a bit flatter and you haven't just got a load of hair in the middle. Roll it all the way to the top of your head. And then I like to swap my hands around at this point. Get your bobby pin, open it up, and this is more done by feel. So if I make a funny face, I'm trying to imagine where it's going. So put the flat bit into the curl next to uh, the rag and then the bumpy bit in your hair next to your head and then I might need to do that again that's a tiny bit loose I can do pretty much all of these with just one bobby pin but if I go back at the end and I find that one's a bit loose I'll just pop another pin in I don't usually sleep in these I usually wash my hair in the morning let it dry for a bit do the curls and then just sit at home do some chores things like that and a few hours later then i'll take it out so if i show you again on this next one so spray it don't forget to get the end personally i like to make sure I've got enough water. It's not dripping wet, but it's probably, it's overly damp or yeah. So it, it's not sopping, but it's definitely got water on it. So start at the beginning. See the bottom ones went really well. And now that I'm filming, they don't want to stay in. There we go. my head get my bobby pin open it up and pin it see that one's a little loose because it's not actually attached to anything oh, it does take a bit of practice these oh and I can't get the bobby pin out um, it can take a bit of finagling, but with enough practice, you'll get there. Mm, come on. There we go, that's a bit better. It'll then be held up by the curl I'm going to do on top here. So that's the start of that row there, and I'm just going to carry on.
So I've done all of my hair. It took about an hour, so not that long. I'll give you ooh, a twirl. I'll have to go back a bit. Because I curl my hair to do styles like the Gibson and the half Gibson, there are certain ways that I've curled my hair. So these sections at the side, I've curled away from my face because I do nice like deep curls into the bun at the back. And then at the top here, I have done the curls like this, curling that way, rather than just parting my hair in the middle because the the stars are usually combed back and they don't have any part if i curled my hair with a part that would constantly be trying to come apart when my hair's up and i'd get weird half parts things so this stays in for about four or five hours any time you have really i mean i had to take a couple of these out to redo them and they'd already curled slightly but obviously they wouldn't stay in very long so the longer you can leave them in the better I'm going to go and watch Infinity War, so I'll come back in about three or four hours, take these out and show you how it looks. So it's been about four and a half hours. I finished this at quarter past ten and now it's about three o'clock. Been to the cinema, which is really nice, and now it's time to take all of this out. It's pretty easy to take it out. You simply just unpin it. So if I start with this, take the pin out, and then you can choose either end of the rag, it doesn't matter too much, and then you just gently slide it out. And if it needs just a bit of a more encouragement, you just hold it and you tug it. And don't tug it too hard, if it's not coming out, Kind of unwind it like that and it will come out and then you have a very tight ringlet so you just do that for your whole head and then i will come back
taken out all your rags, you end up looking like this. Kind of like King Charles, but it is the basis for quite a few historical hairstyles. From here you could do something Georgian, pile it all on top of your head. You could do the Spaniel ears, which was common in the 18th century, I think, where you have a bun on the top there, and then you have all women had curls down their side like that. I, I'll pop a picture somewhere around here, or maybe a link in the description to some good photos. But yes, this is the basis of my Gibson Girl hairstyles that I do, and I will show you those in a separate video. So I really hope you enjoyed watching, and that I could help you curl your own hair if it's quite stubborn like mine. As I said, I'll leave all the useful links in the down bar below, so go check it out, and whilst you're down there, if you want to like, comment and subscribe, that would be really, really lovely.